before we were all born. We want to know why we're being told that they were built with hammers and chisels today. I think we take a step closer to finding out where this incredible knowledge of construction truly came from, where we are all aware of the massive continent that was completely left out of our mainstream textbooks, the land of Mew. So let's go even deeper. When we go back to this article from the Courier Journal from 1925, nearly 100 years ago, where it reads according to the records from Colonel Churchward and the East Indian High Priest, the records state that some people were brought by flying machines to India from the land of Mew in the Pacific Ocean. The records say that Mew was the motherland of man. In Mew was the Garden of Eden where they had cities, where they learned to build palaces of marble. They acquired the skill to quarry gigantic blocks of stone and to transport them long distances and to carve them into human faces. Like we saw in episode 60 in Easter Island, where the records say that the people of Mew navigated the air and had ships where they sailed to far distant lands with rich cargo. And now that we know all of this, I wanna show a few things. First of all, this is showing that the technology of flight has been here before, where the Wright brothers story, creating the first plane in the 1800s would be a massive lie, where they have this information stored and giving it back to us slowly, as we have discussed. Secondly, they mention in the tablets that the land of Mew was in the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean has been named the Pacific Ocean for 13,000 years? Or was the land of Mew here much closer to our timeline? Or is there more land? Not the entire continent, obviously, but are there other lands, possibly bigger than Easter Island and possibly bigger than Hawaii, left over from that cataclysmic event that are still here today and simply hidden from our maps and our flight paths where our current day planes could simply just be flying around that area? where these hidden islands could be. Hidden knowledge, where our flight paths are just circling it. The Garden of Eden, the place where humans had cities, where they learned to build palaces of marble and learning all of the construction skills that we are all asking questions about worldwide today. We are all wondering who built these cathedrals. We all know at this point that the horse and wagon community did not hire Donkeys Incorporated in the 17 and 1800s to chisel away at some stone and marble and knock out the Cologne Cathedral. We know this. We know that they didn't hit the stone with a hammer, a little harder and with a little more precision than we do today. And their work just lasts forever and ours doesn't. It's not about effort. There's knowledge involved here and we are just getting started today. Welcome to episode 61 of my lunch break. I hope you're all having a great day. And if